Hey everybody, welcome back. Today we're gonna have a very fun um, comparison review on two sought out handbags. My two personal favorite, I, well I mean I have three, but we'll get to that on a different video. But the, these two bags are obviously, one is going to be the Chanel Medium Classic Flap, and the other one is going to be the Chanel um, Small. So this is my Chanel Small, which I will take all of the things off of her. She is in black caviar, silver hardware, and she is in the small. Small is very, very, very hard to get, actually. Um, I actually, this was like a pure accident that I even was able to obtain her. I happened to be in Chanel for something completely different, and um, I was uh, talking to my SA about something, and then I overheard um, someone saying, hey, I was just told that you guys just got in the Chanel um, Small and on in the classic flap and i was listening while he was talking and i'm like okay that's interesting and i pondered it didn't say anything um in that visit and the next day I had texted him and said hey you know what i was just curious is it true that the small came out and he was like well yes i we actually got a couple of them and i was like um you know what can you just send me one and he was like seriously and i was like yeah so I was like, can you please send me a small one? So he had this um, messaged over to my New York office. And I was very pleasantly surprised in love to the point where I ended up selling my mini lambskin to um, help finance her because I really, really wanted this bag more because it's in caviar. It's still small. It's still functional to go out with. But in the same time, it was more practical for my daily life even though I miss the cross body version of the mini this one is much more durable much more it's much more me so um, I ended up getting this one and I'm very happy about that either way so we have the Chanel small um, in silver hardware and then as you in my recent video I had posted that I got my unicorn bag which is the Chanel medium in gold hardware as i had indicated i did get this bag a long time ago in the jumbo and i realized i did not like it large um because i never wanted to wear it so i got this one in the yellow gold hardware um black caviar in the medium large now a lot of people always ask always ask what actually fits in these bags and the truth is um i feel like they they fit probably the same amount in in essence um but you could get a lot of things in these bags for your daily life if you're not like a big i want to carry so much stuff with me type person I'm really not that type. I like to carry the basics with me, my cell phone, my wallet. Um, maybe I'll carry, you know, a lipstick and my key, my keys and stuff like that. I don't carry tons of things um, because I already am a mom and on the weekends I carry so much. I actually like to carry less. So there's no need to pack these types of bags in my world. Um, if I am going to bring stuff in addition with me to work I will bring a you know a um a cloth bag that would carry extra stuff I don't generally need to carry my laptop or my iPad with me unless I have meetings or I have somewhere to be that day for work but other than that these are perfectly fine with the amount of items that I carry so I will put the same items in both bags um, and I'll bring in a couple of other items so we can kind of compare what fits in both of them and you can see which one you would prefer um and we'll go from there so just give me a second and i'll be back so i went ahead and i grabbed a bunch of things that on a daily basis bring with me okay and we're gonna start out with the small 
So in all my handbags, I have a organizer in them. Um, I get them either from um, Smorga or Zamoni. And this one I have is beige. And I keep them to keep the bags very structured and not to lose their shape. And of course to keep the leather safe and intact. So I went ahead and I grabbed a wallet. My Louis Vuitton coin purse. My Louis Vuitton um, multi pochette which will not fit in here or can and be the only thing that fits in here. Yeah, so I would have to lose my wallet for that. So we would have to get rid of her. So a coin, wallet, a Chanel O case. Again, it's a lot of maneuvering in the small, but can be done. My AirPods. And in the front would be my phone. So it's already kind of tight in here. I may have to lose something, and I'm probably going to have to lose the key fob. I mean, the. Uh, no. I couldn't even get all that in there anyway. So at this point, I would have to recommend that we would downsize to using the coat case as your wallet, the coin purse as um, your catch-all, and your cell phone. And you should, you'll be able to close her. Does not look completely overly stuffed on both sides, and that's what happens. Now, if you didn't use the organizer, you actually could get everything that you would have wanted. Probably not the, um, the multi pochette, the mini pochette, but you would be able to get the uh, probably could have gotten the wallet in. No, probably not either. Unless maybe it was a card case you could get in it. So now for the medium large. Medium large here. We have the gray organizer. And she's in there. We'll try with the mini pochette. takes up the majority of the space as you see. The Louis Vuitton coin uh, key pouch. My AirPods. My cell phone. And you pretty much have room for like a lipstick in there. Otherwise, this will close perfectly fine without an issue if you want to carry your mini pochette. So if you don't want to carry the mini pochette, take out my AirPods and you want the O case, the wallet. And your AirPods, you would be able to close this without an issue. It's really like Jenga in this, in these bags when you want to put stuff, if you want to keep in the organizer. Um, if you don't want to keep the organizer in, and you want to just throw things in this bag. I do feel like you could get a lot more in it. Um, if you did that. And I probably still have space for like another 
item or two in there um, and it will close perfectly fine if you took out the organizer but again I'm very um, I recommend you keep organizers in these bags they tend to hold the shape better at the bottom and also it keeps the leather from scratching inside even with all the small leather goods these bags do get very um, they do get very scratched up if you use them without the organizers I feel um, again your personal opinion of course you could get much more things in these bags if you did carry without the organizer as you can tell from this I have a card wallet in there the O-case the um, Louis Vuitton key clay plus my cell phone in the front pocket right here um, that's pretty much my personal opinion on this bag um, the organizers are probably like uh, an inch of a felt material this one is from I think this one's from Smorgan. Um, I do, again, I'm a, I'm a big, um, I'm a big organizer lover, and I do feel that it does protect the, your inner side, your inner inside of your bag, which you want because, again, the leather is sensitive, and you want to keep it as brand new and fresh as you would like. So, as the comparison of which obviously fits more. This bag did not have, was not able to get the wallet in even without the organizer, but I was able to have these two things plus the AirPods and my phone. With the organizer, I was able to get these four things, and I had room for probably a lipstick as well. So. This one did was able to fit one extra additional item versus this one. Probably could have fit um, everything I wanted if I had used a card case, um, a flat card case, but I, I did not. I had used an actual real wallet because as much as I think card cases are great, which I they are, um, I am a traditional person that does believe that I need to actually bring much more than just one I don't I don't carry a lot of credit cards but I do um I do carry my ID my work um ID my regular ID my metro card one credit card um I do like to have like at least 20 to 30 dollars with me at all times so I just feel like these wallets are much more better in my life than just a regular card case um, and then I always get stuck with change when you carry cash and I carry cash for the principle of I'm a big 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 believer of small businesses and I do feel that street carts The only way they survive is if you actually buy something from them and I do love to stop by and get coffee sometimes or you know a roll or a donut something to keep businesses small businesses aka street carts or other types of um, food, you know, smoothies. I'm just a really big believer and they do only take cash, so I do carry cash and I like to carry wallets that can accommodate them for that for that particular reason. Okay, well that takes, um, that's pretty much my video. Um, if you need further details on these two beautiful bags, let me know. I could do a review on the wear and tear. Um, I, I've had this bag much longer than I've had this one. Obviously, this one's much more newer. Um, both seem to be in pretty good condition. Haven't been able to have much wear recently um, since we've been home for the last two weeks for quarantine purposes in New York. But I did wear this probably... 13 14 times in this bag I've only worn maybe three or four times since I've got her but um it's beautiful I love them both they are both staples in my collections I will keep them both as far as the practicality yes this one will hold one more one to two more items much more than this one this one obviously is much smaller it's uh, sleeker it's probably better for a night out or for someone who doesn't like to carry um, as many things and doesn't mind that she's much smaller 
This one's much more um, versatile as far as because she has silver hardware, she will be able to match with more things. This one is a little bit more dressier, will elevate an outfit, but in the same token, it is gorgeous, it's a classic, and you would want this one in your, in your wardrobe just as much. So this concludes my video. If you haven't done so already, and you like to see types of videos like this feel free to subscribe would love to i would like you to join the lifestyles of the it mom um and that's that's it that's a wrap for you thanks